What's up guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today I am with my sister and her best friend and we are going to be answering juicy girl talk questions. So you guys have loved these videos in the past and we're just gonna do like another round asking some questions and like get their take on it and just talk girl to girl and answer everything super honestly, super, we're just gonna be really open and let you guys know Very open, all the honest, TMI questions. Okay, first up, what is one of the hardest things about being a girl? Ugh, can you choose one? I think personally, I mean this is like an opinion I think. Personally the hardest thing about being a woman is that biologically we're at a disadvantage to men and so I think that just having to like be scared of a lot of things just because of men like I don't know walking at night just like making sure you have your boyfriend with you or your husband with you at all times to be safe or just like not being able to protect yourself no matter like I don't know. I've never, I've never like, thought about, about it like that like I probably would have said just like having to have a period or something but like yeah I think that's Well like, I think that's worse. hard. I think that's hard but I think that not being able to protect yourself against 50% of the population just be down to biology Biology is really scary and uh -huh. I think that's a hard that's part true. of being a woman. I'd agree. I'd say like not like I wouldn't say this is like hard because it kind of just depends on the person but like definitely like finding other girlfriends like I don't know girls can be like mean and fake and stuff and like maybe like sometimes more so than men. Like guys are like easy like it's easier for them to find like a good friend. Mm -hmm. Probably like it, it just that's just like a huh. side. I can see that. Girls can be like petty and like backstabbing. I feel like guys like just don't like read in or like have as much drama mm -hmm. in general. Okay, that's like true. Like yeah. all your life, like you're even worried. Like I feel like sex trafficking victims and stuff, like w just going to the mall, like where you're told like, you know, don't go at night, you know, carry pepper spray with you. Yeah, you don't really see guys with pepper spray on their keys yeah. you know, type of thing. So yeah, I think that's a really good answer. Um, Thoughts about shaving down there? How to do it right? I'd say like, well, I don't know. Do you think girls should shave down there? I mean, I just think whatever you like and what you're comfortable with yeah yeah like personally i know i think i think i know all we all the shave, shave we but, all shave but like i don't know i feel like if there's ever a like instance where i don't like have to shave every day like that's nice because i have sensitive skin so like do you have any like, like suggestions on how to not get razor i don't else? know i always i only like, shave one direction like shave down and if you want a more smooth cut what i because i like never really get any razor bumps i always shave down and then i shave to the sides and then if you really want that fresh cut then you can shave up but if you do that like it's nice if you do that like once in a while but i wouldn't do it back to back because that's how it like gets like irritated and like yeah i say like i don't i don't really i don't usually tend to get any like razor bumps like on the top part yeah. i feel like on the sides yeah. is where i like go yeah against that's, it mm -hmm. just because like it's like hard to get them going the same direction yeah and so i'll get like the little like yeah like razor bumps down there but like on top i think because i go with the direction of the hair and yeah i go like from the sides i kind of just follow the way it grows and then like i don't really have any issues but it's quite an investment but i think long term i'd like to do like laser, laser. Hair yeah, yeah that would be nice. i think that would be super nice waxing is really nice the only thing i don't like about waxing though is you have to like Wait. you get a yeah you get a fresh cut cooter for like a week or two but then you have to grow one out and have for a hairy like twice one. the amount of time so it's like yeah out. you get a shade one for a little bit but then you also have to have a hairy one for a while so i feel like it's just not that ideal either what was your first impression of sam um, well, I was super, impression. I was super young when I met Sam. Yeah, I thought it was like, I forget, were you like 10? No, you're three years younger than me? You're like probably, yeah, like, you were almost you're 18 like, though. You're probably like three and a half years younger, so you were probably like nine or something, nine or 10. I just was like a little <laughs> annoying at the time, and I guess like my first impression was just kind of like to hate him, or, or I don't even know. Just I was very protective because Jessica kept from me that she was dating him for a while, and so when I finally met him, I was just kind of like, ugh. I kept it a secret because I wasn't really supposed to have a boyfriend yet and I also had like not that recently but I had had like had like a bad boyfriend before that and I felt like my family wasn't very supportive because like he was not a good guy and so I think I think that's kind of why I, mainly just because I wasn't supposed to have a boyfriend so I didn't want to like be like oh I got another boyfriend like, no I get why I was just like like because I'd be like I know you're dating him and he'd be like no I'm not and so then when you <laughs> finally like met him, like when we finally met him I was just kind of like Ugh, like I knew the entire time. Yeah, so they had like this rivalry. We had like a funny like, rivalry. Like, at first I actually did like kind of hate him. Not really, just like. They would just like uh, tease, hate each other. Like, I don't even know. They would just like, he would come in and she'd be like, hate you. Oh, really? Yeah, like, you're so ugly. But like, they like talk all the time. That's also just like Samantha. Yeah, so like I don't know, but then like I feel like by the time we, I'll let you talk. How do you think? But like I feel like I started to get. Along I know after like thought. a year or two, I really like Sam. I think Sam's great. So yeah. Did you have a first impression of Sam? Um, I don't know. I always thought he was nice. He's definitely like good looking and stuff. 
I always thought he treated you good, so I think, mm -hmm. I don't know, I didn't ever have like a bad. He either. treated Jessica, he's always treated you good. I don't yeah. remember you ever crying or coming to us about something mm -hmm. that he did. Yeah, that's what I So I liked him for that a lot. Suggestions for dealing with period cramps. Well, <laughs> I had to resort to the IUD to get rid of my period, so. She got really bad cramped. I would throw up and shit myself at the same time when I was on my period, and it happened every month, and I'd be in like so much pain for like three hours straight, so. I had a, they diagnosed me with something, and I think it's because my fallopian it's tubes called, um, too much. endometriosis. They were literally telling me, like, either you're going to go into surgery and you won't be able to have kids, or you can try the IUD and see if it takes away your period, and obviously I chose that option, and it worked, so. And if you just have more minor cramps you're trying to deal with, I think, like, probably investing in a heating pad would be good. Heating pads help me a lot, too. My mitol, yeah, that's what I, I usually just take, like, um, mitol or, like, ibuprofen if I'm having a period cramp, and it usually, like, helps. Um, you can, if you don't have a, a heating pad, I Actually, I have never like gone and like bought one to use. So like one time I was having really bad cramps, so I just heated up um, like a bottled water. I know I put rice in a sock and heated oh, it up, and it that's holds. A good idea. It holds the heat really long, and so you can just like hold the sock on your tummy, and it really helps. So. Yeah. Okay, so Sam, I know Sam agrees with this, but I'm curious if either of you do. It says, "Do you ever smell your own farts and enjoy it?" What the hell? <laughs> no. Sam and I fight about this all the time. He's like, and he, if he was here, he'd say like, it's only certain ones, but like <laughs> sometimes you'll just like, like it's just like good. And I'm like, ew, like what? Like I've never been like, oh yeah, let me ask smell that. Question. That. Probably Sam, cause. Oh my God, He Sam. said that, it, but like people, when we did a video like that, people were like saying they understood he was talking about. And I was like, what? I've never been like, oh yeah, I've I wanna per Personally, I've never like smelled my own fart and be like, mm. yeah. you know? Like, <laughs> I think they can be like not that bad just because it's your own so you don't really care as much, you know But like because it's more gross smelling someone else's fart than your own I feel like yeah, yeah, but That's doesn't true. mean I like it. Do you let Kenny suck your thumb? Wait, what? <laughs> no <laughs> No, I don't think any of us let our boyfriends suck our thumbs, but that's really weird. you do you yeah Did you guys fight much while growing up? Yeah, me and Jessica actually fought a while I think until I got into high school Yeah, well not into high school. I'd say once you got into middle school we were fine Like once you hit like no. 14. Once you were like 14 it was fine I feel like. Oh so 8th grade. Or when we were little we shared a 10 by 10 room And so whenever I had friends over I like would want her to give me space But she like wanted to like be there and I feel like that's why I was always just like annoyed to like have her you were mean. I don't, just, I don't, you've gotten a lot nicer, but you were mean when you were in high school. I think I, I was I mean because you, you would ruin my you. toys. No, that's so long ago. You were just, you were kind of mean a little bit. You've gotten a lot nicer. But how was I mean? You would say just horrible things. And you were just mean. No, I just remember like being over sometimes and Jess would like get overwhelmed with the messiness of the room and she'd just be like, Samantha, it's terrible. It's always terrible in here. Like, blah, blah, blah. I would like, do that, but that's because I was mad it was so messy and you would never pick up after yourself. We but, started getting along, I think, probably my eighth grade year or maybe seventh yeah, grade. And I think, honestly, we that's probably the reason we were like fighting is because we had to share such a tight space. Yeah. Like, I feel like if we had our own rooms, we would have gotten along way, like way better, but we were like always in each other's business and we never yeah. had our own private space so we just like fought a lot i'm sorry for hurting your feelings or being mean when i was younger it's all right been past it we uh, we get along great now last time you saw each other nikki <laughs> who wants to know that we're sisters i don't even know actually though why would we know that why would that be uh, something in our memories to think about <laughs> well i also don't feel like it's that big of a deal oh i actually know exactly when <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Have you had any any embarrassing period stories? <laughs> I know um, you have, Sam. <laughs> yeah, I've had like a couple. My first one, I got my period in sixth grade and I was the first girl out of like all the girls to get the, my period. So no one had it yet. No one was cool with periods yet. It was still like a weirdo if you had your period. So I, yeah, I got my first period on my butt, on my, the bus I rode home. And when I got up to like change seats, there was a little puddle of blood. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, there was a little puddle of blood when I stood up and everyone on the bus started screaming and was like ew like ew and like even the girls I was sitting next to were like ew Sam like that's so gross so and didn't like, you sit down and wipe it up with your butt so I literally sat back down because oh, I was Samantha. so embarrassed so I sat back on the blood and I just sat there and I got trying so hard not to cry because everyone was like laughing and like just like being so mean that was your first time having a period yeah and so I just got off the bus and I was just like oh my god this see I I've, I've never like bled that heavy to like like I if I wore pants and I bled like they wouldn't it wouldn't have ever made a puddle. Like, I don't bleed that much. So I don't really have any embarrassing stories. The first time I used a tampon, I got stuck. Oh, God. And I had to have Cassie help me get it out. Advice for falling in love with someone who has a girlfriend. 
Um, I'd say don't fall in love yeah, with them. That's not, not a good thing to do as a girl. You should always try to be a girl's girl, I feel like, and not take anyone's man. You yeah. Know? Yeah, that's just like, I was just trying to forget about that one. <laughs> I think we're all saying that because we're all in relationships, but this is how I would look at it. Even if you really like that guy, like imagine if he does end up liking you and he's in a relationship, what's going to stop him from liking another girl when he's in a relationship with you? Yeah. I'd say like if you guys are meant to be, then that relationship should well, end, end. And then you and guys then... can start something. Okay, last question. It says, things you wish you knew before moving out of your parents' house. And we can both answer this. And if you have any like insight too, I feel like you like go between houses. Samantha moved out at like an abnormal age because my parents moved away from like our hometown, like from California to Louisiana. And Samantha wanted to stay and finish high school where she's at. So she got emancipated and moved out at the age of 16. And then obviously I moved out at 18, which is also I still feel like pretty really young, young just because so. yeah, I feel like most kids, some kids move out and go out to college, which is common, but a lot of kids stay at their parents' house and just like go to like a local college. So I don't know, what are your thoughts on that? I can go first. I think for me, everyone's situation is different, but for me, what I, like I something I didn't think about is that um I like to live with um, another family and they're great and all I'm not saying anything bad about them at all I had to live with a couple families like before I found until like, you found like a permanent permanent spot you're not ever gonna be like their actual kid you know what I mean so it's like you don't really have that unconditional like love and support that you're gonna get like from your family like your family's never gonna like I feel like I could like probably mess up like not that I will or have messed up but like I could mess up let's say and, like get kicked out I can't you know talk to them really about anything and everything or it's like it's not like you can go to your family or you just like walking around the house there's like a different level of comfort it's yeah it's a really different level of comfort that you're not going to be like used to and I feel like I've like wasn't prepared exactly for that I think like people told you that that's like yeah that's hard like I think that's something we worried about with you is just like feeling like really at home because you know you're with someone that's not you know bl blood related to you or like you know I will yeah I'll say that for me I think it was just really weird like after Sam and I got married I moved in like we got married and then like obviously when we came back we did like a little mini moon until we like I'm not gonna get into that but after our honeymoon we like got back and I just moved in with his mom you know and his brother and I just remember it being so weird to like not go home and sleep in your own bed like that was so weird to me like yours probably didn't feel like that because you guys moved and stuff so you didn't really have a bed to go back to but it was just the weirdest thing to me I wasn't ready for it not having you guys to say goodnight to you or not like mm -hmm sleeping in the same room with you like all of a sudden just like overnight you're not going home and you're not seeing your family and it was like the weirdest thing to me like not having them like just not having you guys there and like it's just it was just different because like sam's family is different like i'm used to noise and like stuff always going on and his house is always really quiet and so like i feel like i almost find like peace and like comfort and like the chaos and so something being like so quiet all the time it just mm. felt just weird to get used to that that's just something i like wasn't prepared to like experience i mean i've never like moved out so you, you've had to deal with like i think yeah. I've, I've never known what it's like for you to like have to balance like what clothes you keep at what parents house or yeah. like i mean i don't stuff. really like i don't really go to my dad's very much anymore and i obviously go to school here so like i didn't now really ever normal yeah but i also like even when i was i didn't really keep any clothes like at his house i just like always just pack like pack packed a bag, bag. is but that was... weird to like always have to pack bags it would be weird if it was like brand new but i've done that like my whole life gotcha mm -hmm. i don't think there was any like huge change i think i was just happier well cool thank you guys if you've stayed around this long do hashtag moving out in the comments if you made it this far so i know you made it um thank you for watching make sure you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already um i will put the video we just filmed on samantha's channel in the description because we just filmed a video where um jessica and we're both named jessica i don't think we said that her <laughs> friend's name jessica i'm jessica so it's the battle of jessica's if you want to see who knew samantha better head over there and check out her video um but yeah love and appreciate you guys let me know if you want to see another video like this in the future and until next time bye but you don't care you're on the way keep moving like the scars aren't even there it's in the air